California carnivores. Today I wanted to talk a little bit about American pitcher plants and just how they work. Um, my lovely example is this giant Saracenia flava, variety Cuprea, and this one used to belong to a friend of mine named Bill Hoyer, so in the trade you see this is a lot called Bill Hoyer. Well, it's not officially named after him yet. Um, they have these beautiful coppery um, lids, which gives it its name. And you can see probably the glistening uh, nectar all along the top of this lid. Um, so this lid acts as a rain lid to keep the rainwater out of the pitchers, but it's also a really convenient landing pad for flies and yellow jackets and other uh, potential prey. Back here, you can see there's a fly working the nectar right there, and there's another one there. Um, after the flies eat the nectar for about 30 seconds, they'll usually uh, become drugged from the nectar. It actually intoxicates their prey before it catches them, which is really cool. So we'll see how this fly is doing. You can see he's not too afraid of me. And I keep moving, keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. And he's not going anywhere. Normal flies would have flown away a long time ago. Probably didn't touch him. Oh, I did touch him. And he'll just keep eating the nectar, eating the nectar, eating the nectar. He's right back where he started from. Again, here he is. Oh, and he'll come right back. The most nectar is located and concentrated at the neck here of the lid and in the interior of the mouth. So eventually their sampling will lead them down into there um, and they're already drunk. So when they lose their foothold on here, they'll find um, breakaway wax that clogs up their feet and they won't be able to clamber out or fly out because there's um, in a tube like that, it's very hard to create any kind of lift, just a physics thing. So once they're inside, there's no getting out. And even a big plant like this will fill up all the way with yellow jackets, flies, moths, other annoying insects that are drawn to um, sweet drugging nectar. If you're, uh, if you're looking to get rid of yellow jackets in your yard, a big American pitcher plant like this can actually be really impactful. Mostly we tell people to grow carnivorous plants because they're beautiful, but in that particular case, you really will get rid of a lot of uh, yellow jackets with a plant like this. Of course, a plant like this is also 30 years old, so you better start today. Anyways, that's how American pitcher plants work. Hope you guys had as much fun learning about them as I did telling you about them.